Hi, this is Pastor Jim. Simple question for you. Do you like waiting? There's a lot of people I watch, they sit at a traffic light and you can see them just get full of anxiety. When is this light going to change? Most of the time, it changes when it's scheduled to change. Do you like waiting in a, in a, a restaurant? You've been there before and now it seems the food is coming out is slower. Uh, I've watched individuals get so full of anxiety, so frustrated, waiting, waiting. There's something interesting that happens in, in, in my life is Teresa will make some chocolate chip cookies and I have to wait for them to come out of the oven. It's not a long period of time, but when you have that aroma that you're smelling, you go, when is it coming out? And then there's the cool down time before I can eat it. Hey, life is full of waiting. But sometimes we approach God that we should just not wait. Well, the Bible tells us to be still and know that he is God. That, that's a stillness of heart. That's a lack of anxiety and frustrating. We're waiting on him. As a matter of fact, the church started waiting on God at the very beginning. You see, Jesus commanded his disciples to go in Jerusalem and wait for the promise uh, that he spoke of concerning the Holy Spirit. Uh, Acts chapter 1. It says, being assembled together with them. Now, Jesus is with them, but he's coming in and out, and he's showing up, and then he's disappearing, and commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you have heard from me. So he, he shows up to his disciples, and he says, now just wait. Now, what is the purpose of this waiting? Well, at this moment, they're waiting so that they would know it is not a work of their self. It was something that was going to happen that they couldn't muster up. And at the right time, at the chosen time, the Holy Spirit descended upon them. They were baptized with the Holy Spirit. And the world then was changed, altered by the power of God. Not because of these men. You, you see, what Jesus wanted to show them is that he was going to do a work in them they themselves could not do. Could you imagine what the church would look like today if the disciples did wait for the power of the Holy Spirit? It would be a work of the flesh. It would be a work of their own efforts, their own uh, ingenuity. It would be a work of what they could muster up as a team or a lack of a team today. Are you waiting on the Lord with a joy in your heart? The promise that he has given is a promise he is only able to fulfill. Nobody else can fulfill that. So we must wait on him. And maybe you're waiting for your marriage to change today. Will you wait on God to do his work? Do his word as you're waiting. But wait and be still and know that he is God. Good words for us today in a very high-paced society that waiting is not uh, something we like or enjoy. But when we get to wait and see what God will do, God will then get the glory. Hey, this is Pastor Jim. Until we see each other face to face or until you click on again, I pray that the grace of God would go before you as you walk in Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.